大家好，欢迎嚟到东厨房。Welcome to Asian Delights Kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you my version of Chu Hao Luo Ba Men Ngao Lam, aka Cantonese style beef stew with daikon. This is definitely a must-try Cantonese recipe. You're not gonna regret. I added some beef tenders to my recipe. Melt in your mouth super tender beef and tenders with daikon. Braise in a beautiful sauce spiced with all the Cantonese flavors and aromatics. These are the spices we are using today. Soak the tenderin peel with hot or warm water. Set it aside. Minced garlic, shallot, and peel one piece of ginger and smash it. Ngao lam direct translates to beef belly, mostly refer to beef brisket. Authentic Cantonese beef stew generally use hang lam and bang sa lam. The closest cut would be boneless short rib and skirt steak. I sometimes saw it is also labeled as side beef in some Chinese groceries. Bang sa represents butterflies. Part of the structure is two pieces of fascia sandwiching meat like a butterfly. You can also use other cuts like briskets, flank, or shank. With the tenderness from the tenders we are making today, it will give a great balance in the end. Let's start cutting the beef to around two inches by two inches. Do not cut it too small since they will shrink after a long time of braising. I am cutting the tenders all to the same size, around two inches. Cut them all up. When marinate in a bowl, add in all the ingredients listed on the screen. Give it a good mix. Red bean curd is one of the authentic Cantonese ingredients you might not be familiar with. It has a savory and unique flavor. It gives our beef stew a good kick and bring out the umami flavor. Chu Hao sauce is another Cantonese sauce that is very important for this stew. Do not skip this sauce if you are using this recipe. I'll list the brand I use for your convenience and reference due to different brands might bring taste and size differently. In a wok or pot, blanch off the proteins with scallion, ginger, and Chinese cooking wine. For the daikon, I'm using these Korean ones as I found them to be sweeter and fresher in my area. You may use your favorite if you think it's better or more convenient for you. Peel the daikon at least two coats until you don't see any tougher texture. You can tell the daikon is fresh and tender by the center of it. You see white lines in the center if it's old and hard. Dice them into bigger pieces, also around two inches wide. The tenderin peel is now soaked and softened. Scratch the white stuff from the inner side to get rid of bitterness. Toast all the spices on the pan. Put them in a spice bag. When the proteins have done blanching after five minutes. Take them out and rinse each piece well. Use the same water or store another pot of water. Add in daikon and one teaspoon of sugar. This will get rid of bitterness from the daikon and bring out the sweetness. Drink and rinse after two to three minutes. Heat up the wok. Add in minced garlic, shallots, and ginger. Fry until fragrant. I'm using an instant pot today. If you're cooking on the stove, braise the tender one hour in advance before this step. Add in the marinade mixture. Try to sear the proteins by all sides. Add in rock sugar and Chinese cooking wine. Put everything in the instant pot. Fill in water enough to cover the meat. Here I used five cups. Use the meat stew function to cook on high pressure level for 30 minutes. If you're cooking on the stove, braise for two to two and a half hours, and leave the lid cover for at least 30 minutes. This is the trick to tenderize the beef. I like to remove some excess oil on the surface. You can leave the whole pot in the fridge overnight, or simply use a spoon to do the job. Remove the spice bag. Use another pot. Transfer everything from the instant pot. Add in daikon. Turn heat to high.
Add in 1 tablespoon of dark soy sauce to give some color to the daikon. Now is good time to adjust to your taste. I am adding 1 more tablespoon of pink sauce to my liking. Turn to low heat to stew for half an hour or until everything is tenderized. I used a 4 quotes cast and iron Dutch oven. Everything fits perfectly in it. The benefits of using a Dutch oven is that the liquid won't evaporate too much while cooking. If you're using a clay or stainless steel pot, you might want to add a cup or two of water to your recipe. While the stew is bracing, let's talk about what we can eat with our stew. Steamed white rice and noodle soups are very good choices. I'm also going to eat them with these rice cake rolls. You can find them in most Asian groceries. This was more like street food when I was in school. The noodle is pre-steamed and fully cooked. Slice the rolled noodle diagonally every 1 inch like this. Cut noodle diagonally which will allow the sauce to better drench the noodles. Put some oil on the plate. Then steam on high heat for 5 minutes. Time to check our stew. Look at that. Every single piece is melt in your mouth tenderly. The flavorful and rich sauce, you don't even need to use any starch. Perfectly consistent. To eat it along with rice, serve it up with your favorite bowl. A little chopped scallions on top. Look at that beef tender. I can just swallow it. The skirt steak. And my favorite daikon. It just falls into profession with a touch with my chopsticks. That is such a beautiful combination. Here comes the noodle. Serve them on the bottom plate or bowl. Add the right amount of everything. Sauce. Sprinkle some sesame seeds. Hot sauce. Scallions. For the noodle, I like to unroll them and drench with sauce. Mmm, so smooth and delicious. This is my version of Cantonese beef stew with meat tenders and daikon. You are gonna love it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy my video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me comments, and subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes. Thank you. See you next time.